Hey, Jerry from Blizz Studio. And in the last tutorial, we put together a really cool look for our game. We added materials with colors. We changed the background color. We also added post-processing. Hopefully all of you created some really cool effects in your game with those post-processing effects. What's coming up in this tutorial? We're actually gonna put some particle effects in the background and then we're also going to be adding particle effects to the paddle. So that way, anytime the ball hits the paddle, it's going to create a little particle effect. And it's just gonna make that game look even more cool. Please help me get the message out by sharing these tutorials and growing the channel. And if you're ready to get started, let's go. All right, so now let's take this one step further. We've kind of added uh, a nice vignette, a lot, added a little bit of bloom, and now we need to add something to the background because it's still very, very flat, which, is, which can be okay. Um, but in this case, I wanna go ahead and add some particle effects. So I want to add a particle effect in the background and I'm gonna ha go ahead and add that to my walls uh, folder, which is kind of more of background. So let's go ahead and change that name real quick. So walls and background. There we go. And I'll go ahead and add a particle effect to that, that folder. So we'll go ahead and add an effect, a particle system. Now I need to kind of determine exactly what this is. And I just, I'm kind of winging it, so I don't know. So let me just, um, we'll call this background particles. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and move this up in the scene and maybe just have it like be little twinklies that are kind of like moving down. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and move this up in my scene. So we're gonna move it up here. And so the particles are kind of moving down and I need to go ahead and just change kind of what, what's happening with these particles. So first I'm gonna change the shape. So the shape, instead of being a cone, I'm gonna go ahead and have this be an edge. Okay, so currently it's the edge is going up, but we can go ahead and rotate this down. So there's a couple different ways we can make our, our particles go down. We can move them in a, in a negative direction or we can rotate this uh, 180 degrees. So let's go ahead and just do that. We'll ro rotate 180 degrees on the Z, and now they're, they're moving down. So next thing we wanna do is to look at um, changing some of the settings here. Um, first, I want the width of this to be wider. So I'm gonna do that down here in the, the shape scale. So on the, the X axis, I want it to be wider. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this wider so it goes all the way across the scene. And then I can start looking at some of the particles. So first I wanna move this back because currently they're hitting the, the paddle and I don't necessarily want that. So I'm gonna go and just push these back just a little bit so they're a little bit further back. And then I wanna go ahead and go through some of the settings. So first I want this to, to continually loop, so I'm gonna go ahead and have that. I do want to pre-warm. That means when the game starts, there's already particles on the screen. Otherwise, if pre-warm was off, the particles would then start and then move down. We want them to already be on screen and move down. Okay, so that's what pre-warm is. Then the next thing is the start time of the particles. Let's go ahead and choose a random between two constants and let's have this be maybe two seconds to uh, five seconds is fine. Well, uh, speed is going to affect that. So let's go ahead and do random between two constants here. So we'll go from two to five and see how that looks. Now we're kind of getting a little more depth it seems. Um, the other thing I want to do is to change the start size. Again, random between two constants. I love that. So we'll change this maybe from uh, 0.2 to, I think one actually works pretty good. Um, start color. Let's go ahead and have these be a, just a little more subtle on the screen. So let's go ahead and choose kind of like this purple color, but then I'm going to lighten it up slightly. And I'm gonna do the same thing, random between two colors here. And again, I'll choose that background color, but then I'll make it a little bit lighter. And maybe we can even change the value just a little bit and the saturation 
just give a little more variety, but not not much. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. Then, um, like I need to determine if that's kind of where I want this to be. You can see that some of these uh, particles are popping off the screen or ending a little bit too soon. So let's go ahead and just change the, the lifetime of those to be 10. And then that way they're just always on the screen at the whole time after 10 seconds they get deleted. And I think that's fine. So that looks pretty good. Then the next thing I want to do, <clears throat> then the next thing I want to do is add a particle effect to the paddle. So that way when the ball hits the paddle, we create this little particle effect. So let's do that real quick. So we've got the background particles. I think that looks good. We're just going to play with that for right now or leave that for right now. Okay, so we need to add a particle system to our controller. So I'm gonna click on controller and add particle effect, particle system here. And I need to move that so where it's down to where the paddle is. And let's have it maybe just right on top of the paddle. And then currently the this is in a cone shape and it's facing to the back of the scene. And what we want to do is rotate it up. So we're going to rotate that on the X axis. So in the, the um, particle system, we can rotate that moving up. So we're going to do a rotation on the, Z, the X and we're going to rotate that 90. Oh, that's going down. We want to do a negative 90. Yeah, there we go. So now we're facing up. Okay, so that looks good. Now we need to go ahead and just change what the particles look like. And we want this to not be a looping animation. I want this to only play once and just kind of do a little bit, a little bit of a burst. So what I'm going to do is um, first I want to change the color of the particles. And again, I, I like to do a random between two colors. So let's change this to be random between two colors. And I'm going to have this be from the yellow to a little bit of an on an orange side, and then. I want to change these, uh, we're, we're going to turn looping off and the duration will have this be maybe 0.3 of a second. So it's very short. Then I'm going to, well, I'm going to turn, turn looping back on just so we can see the particles as we kind of work on them. So start lifetime, we want that to be short for the particles. So we'll go random between two constants again, and I'll change this to from 0.1 to 0.3 so again they're very very short the speed I'm gonna have I'm gonna have that moved up quite a bit again random between two constants let's have this be from let's say 3 to 10 cool I think that works pretty good I'm gonna take the cone and change it so it's kind of moved out slightly so let's change the shape of this real quick so we're going to do the angle and just move that so it's going out. That might be a little bit too drastic. Cool. And I think that works. Now we're going to play with the, the, the size of those particles. So let's go into start size. Um, it's set to 1 at, at default. And let's go ahead and change that to random between two constants. And again, let's go from like 0.1 to uh, maybe 0.5. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Now we can go to the emission. All right, so here we're not going to do a rate over time. Um, we're going to go to zero because we don't want there to be a constant building of these. We only want there to be a burst. So here we're going to go into the bursts area and click plus. So you can see it's going boom, 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 boom. All right. So what we want to do is to maybe increase. Oh, we'll start. We'll leave it at 30. We want there to be one cycle of it, and we'll call that good. We're not going to do looping, so we're going to turn that off. Okay, then we can actually, let's see, we'll need to change this, the name of this. So paddle particles, and then we need to turn it off. So we're going to turn that off. Okay, so we, we want to turn it on, and then when it turns on, it's going to do that burst, and then we'll turn it off again. So, how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to go into our managers, and then we're kind of uh, detecting 
if the in our sound manager if the ball hits the paddle I really need to change this from sound manager to maybe detection manager so let's do that real quick yeah I like that better and then we're playing sounds which is fine okay so paddle sound so here we're detecting if the ball hits the paddle and then what we want to do is here we're playing the audio we're sending the screen shake here we also want to um, turn that particle system on okay so let's go ahead and do that real quick so what we're going to do is to do an activate game object and what is it we want to activate well we want to activate that paddle particle and we want to have it active cool then let's give that a test real quick so hopefully when the ball hits our paddle it's going to turn that particle system on boom, boom. and it, you can see we've got that little part but we're not resetting it so we need to do that um, as well so instead of going directly back to the paddle detection I'm gonna to go to a short wait and then we're gonna turn it off so let's go and add so in finished here we're gonna go and add a new state and we'll put this here and we'll call this wait and we're only gonna wait for as long as that particle system lasts which is 0.3 seconds so we'll do a wait and it's going to be for 0.3 now we're going to send an event to reset um, we can just do a finished so once it's finished we're going to go to a new state this one's going to be reset particles and here we've got this activate game object of the particles we're going to copy and paste that over here we're going to turn the particles back off and then we're going to add a finished state here and go back to the paddle listening okay so let's give that a test so every time the ball hits the paddle now we should be turning that particle system off waiting for a boom, second and then turning boom, it back on boom, 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 yeah boom, there we go boom, boom. Game over. Cool. So there we go. We've added a lot more uh, juice to our game. Oh yeah, we made this game look even more cool by adding that particle effect in the background and also adding a particle effect to the paddle. So what's coming up in the next tutorial? We're actually going to make that paddle rotate. And again, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. And again, I'm going to ask you, please share. Help me grow this channel. Again, I'm going to create more tutorials for you. And again, I'm also looking for input from you on what it is you want to see with these tutorials. And I'm also looking for your feedback. And until next time, peace.